hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so now in this video tutorial we will talk about property binding in angular so property binding is the primary way of binding data in angular or you can say that property binding is a technique which will help the user to bind values to the properties of HTML elements so let uh, consider an example where we will bind the value property of the input element to a component and the component uh, name will be let's just say that the first name property okay the first name the component will be first name which is right here and it is equals to coding so now how we will bind the value property of the input element to a component so let me just give you an example uh, right here we will create a input type input and then uh, add a brackets and then we will type value and value will be equals to first name not fourth name it first name okay first name like this and now we will save this and if we check our browser as you can see right here it shows coding which as you can see right here the first name property is equals to coding so in this way we bind the value property of the input element to a component which is the first name the first name proper uh, property and in, it shows coding so guys uh, let's just do another example uh, uh, where we will be binding the disable property of the button of the button element to a component uh, which will be is disabled property so this will be disable the button based on the condition uh, if the condition is uh, true or false although okay either true or false so for that let's just go back and let's just uh, create a property and the property uh, name will be let's just say uh, is uh, is disabled I think yeah this name will be good um, so it will be equals to a uh, boolean value which will be uh, true or false so for now we will make it to true and now if we go back to the body.component.html and right here we will create a button and uh, inside this button uh, we will add a brackets not the curly brackets this one okay we will type this uh, disabled and this will be equals to the property the property name is is uh, let me just check again okay it is is disabled so now if we check our browser as you can see the boolean expression is equals to true so that's why the button is disabled and now if we just uh, change it to false okay compiled and as you can see right here the button is now working so I am uh, changing the uh, value manually but you can control the property based on the user interaction for example uh, if a uh, uh, let's just consider a sign up example so if the user enter his data and um, uh, click on the button sign up and after that you can uh, disable the button so that the user cannot uh, create his uh, account again and again so in this way the property binding works in angular and guys there is also an uh, alternate syntax for property binding so instead of uh, using this these brackets you can use uh, bind hyphen and with the attribute name so in this way the property binding also works and now if we just uh, refresh our browser okay 
I mean it is already refreshed so as you can see it works the is disabled is equals to true and you can see the button is still disabled so this is an alternate uh, syntax for property binding so let me just change it to false uh, compiled successfully as you can see right here the button is still working so you can uh, change this also to bind hyphen the value so this is an alternate syntax for property binding so yeah guys in this way you can use uh, property binding in angular js and i hope these uh, uh, these examples that i gave it to you guys you will uh, using this example you will understand how the property binding works and i hope you understand this so yeah thank you guys for watching and subscribe our channel coding cafe and press the bell icon peace guys